In today's cartoon story joke, we delve into the age-old sport of corruption. Oh yes, corruption, a hilariously tragic tale throughout time. Corruption, it's plagued us since the dawn of time, like a stubborn barnacle on the ship of civilization. In ancient Greece, getting ahead meant bribing politicians with the latest olive oil and fanciest togas. It was considered rude to show up empty-handed. Imagine politicians complaining about fruit baskets today. Forward to the Roman Empire, here, corruption was like a delicious yet slightly moldy pizza. Everyone knew it was there, but they kept eating it anyway. Julius Caesar basically used a giant golden pizza cutter to bribe his way to power. Then there was the Middle Ages, where corruption was a bit more complex. Corruption wasn't a single villain. It was a whole monster with tentacles of greed, laziness, and a surprising fondness for loot music. Then came the Ottomans. They tried to outsmart corruption by constantly shuffling officials around, like a shell game with bureaucrats. But guess what? Corruption always found the pea and probably ate it. Fast forward to the 20th century, where corruption went global, like a bad pop song. From shady oil deals to politicians with offshore bank accounts fatter than Santa's sack, it seems like some people just can't resist lining their pockets. The worst part? Corruption hurts the poor the most. It's like stealing candy from a baby, except the candy is a good education in healthcare. But there's hope. We can fight corruption with the power of education. By teaching people the difference between right and wrong, we can make bribes as unappealing as Brussels sprouts. So there you have it, folks. Corruption, a hilarious, if you have a dark sense of humor and tragic story. But together, we can write a new ending. Now that we understand the origins of this favorite sport, being played my men in power and men with power. Let's knuckle down to a hilarious joke in the way it is playing out today in modern society. Apparently, Chicago is the most corrupt city in the USA, so let's play it in their court. This government tender went out to build a new city library in the center of, you guess it, Chicago. One of the tender prerequisites was that the tender board interview all the companies that qualify for the job once their tenders were ready. Two of the tender board's members will be present at these meetings. So, the first qualifying company was from the city of Detroit and was invited to come and explain their tender to the two tender board members. The company brought a team of engineers to explain their design, safety procedures, construction timeline, and many technical details. They also brought their finance manager to explain their costing model to the team. Our tender is for $2 million, of which $1 million is for all materials and logistics. $800,000 is for labor, and $200,000 is profit for the company's shareholders. The two tender board members were happy with their explanation. So, the second qualifying company was from the city of Cincinnati, and was invited to come and explain their tender to the two tender board members. The company once again brought a team of engineers to explain their design, safety procedures, construction timeline, and many technical details. They also brought their finance manager to explain their costing model to the team. Our tender is for $1 million, of which $500,000 is for all materials and logistics, $400,000 is for labor, and $100,000 is profit for the company's shareholders. The two tender board members were also happy with their explanation. So, the last qualifying company was from the city of Chicago, the hometown of the new project, and was invited to come and explain their tender to the two tender board members. The CEO of the company arrived on his own, without anything for the presentation. He walked in and sat down. The board said, so can you explain your tender to us, please? The CEO of the Chicago company said, my price for the job is for $4 million. And that was all he said. The two tender board members were not very impressed with this proposed costing. So they asked him to explain how he got to the proposed price for the erection of the library. It's simple math, the CEO said, as there are two of you, me, and a construction company. It is one million for each one of you two tender board members. A million dollars for me. 
and a million dollars for those fools from Cincinnati. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here. <laughs>